How do we spell slam? Yeah. Oh, what does slam mean? Slam, it's like you slam a door really hard. There you go. Which one did I? Oh my goodness, there was one right here. Oh my god. That dinosaur gets a bunny. That dinosaur gets a bunny. What vowel do you need here? Is that word? Good. Find the rhyme in this word. M. M. Try it now. M. Glamour. This might be my new favorite thing to do with my class. Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. We are in about week eight of school. If you're new here, I teach first grade in Las Vegas. This is my fourth year teaching and we're still <laughs> figuring everything out. We're just now getting to the point where we are a little bit less of a hot mess express, so. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I left my memory card at home. I will kind of walk you through what you missed. It seems like on the days I don't vlog you miss a lot, so let's do that. I had a mom cut out their art and keep in mind today is September 27th and I'm just now getting their September directed drawings up. I'm trying something different this year and I'm gonna have a mom cut these out every month and then when I go to put them in their memory books I'll actually put it either on a piece of watercolor paper that they just watercolored or a piece of plain cardstock. Um, but they look really cute all cut out. They're little fall birds. Some of them are, are really big and some of them are really tiny, but they're all super cute. Yesterday we read, I Love My Fangs. That is our read aloud for this week. I kept it super simple because number one, I'm getting ready for October. And number two, we are going heavy on science this week and probably next week too. So we've already done the four seasons and we're moving into more the technical side. This is a great book by Gil. No, this isn't Gil Gibbons. This is Franklin M. Branley. Gil Gibbons has one too. But it's What Makes Day and Night. This was given to me by Lynette. So thank you, Lynette. It is an awesome, awesome book. Yesterday, we just watched a video on Brain Pop, basically just about the solar system, just to like orient themselves in space, if you will. And I asked them a question, what makes day and night? I can't show you this anchor chart because it has student names on it. I'll insert a picture for you though. So I literally just asked them. And the first person to answer was, was actually onto something. They said the earth has to spin. And I was like, okay. And I asked everybody who was willing to tell me what do you think makes day and night? So they said everything from it's light in one place, but dark in another which does not answer the question But good 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 observation. Um, the Sun is a star. That's true. Doesn't answer the question um, Maybe our meteor crashed into earth and made it. Okay, so that's where we're starting for what makes day and night All of their responses and today we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into that. I want to show you guys a lot more into my small groups this week and less of whole group, um, but I am going to try to show you some science too. So just to kind of switch up what the focus of my vlogs is about, it is actually pretty hard to film the small groups just because doing a lot of things at one time. So whatever I can get for you guys, please be grateful because it's not easy to do. I have two groups of kids who really can't quite read yet, so that's like 12 kids. Um, and I mean like even CBC words. These are some task cards that I prepped this past summer and I was surprised I talked about this on my Instagram but I was surprised how good of a job they did um, so basically they have a picture and they need to just find the right answer and I just have them put like a little mini eraser on it you could use clothespins to clip but I just have them put an eraser on it to tag the correct one and then I write them down in their little guided writing books that I have prepped actually a mom helps me prep these <laughs> for small group kind of listed all of their correct answers because I still wanted them to connect it to print because that is more beneficial to them. Um, my low groups are doing a really, really good job with this and I'm finding that task cards is honestly one of my favorite things to do in my groups, especially my math groups because it's so fast. I can give them different problems. I can give them harder ones or easier ones depending on how they're doing. Like I am really, really enjoying using task cards for small groups and I haven't used them so much except this year. So that's good. I've got so many of these task cards prepped in these little bags. I don't know if this is helpful to you or not. Um, I do follow a scope and sequence. I follow Hello Jen Jones, Hello Literacies, scope and sequence, and I use her decodables. So kind of all in this sheet protector 
and then this is what like the first decodable looks like if you're curious but I have them all so what I did with the task cards that I prepped was I separated them kind of in the order of the scope and sequence and I have this sorry if this is confusing but I have also task cards in these little task card boxes up here for centers this is more just for me um, so these go with the pink decodables these go with her orange decodables and these go with the yellow decodables so they're a little bit harder um, and they have different skills so like some of the ones in the pink are short vowels um, o r a r e r i r and u r and then the orange goes into blends which we're actually going to be doing we are doing blends this week we're doing s blends so yeah you'll see and this is my first year that i've actually you know had all of this stuff like good to go ready to go and it's the first year that i don't have a reading curriculum at my school so that's more of a more of a reason to have those things organized in that way so i'm sure whatever reading curriculum you have it's a lot easier to organize by skill according to your reading curriculum and hopefully it's a good one anyways okay so that is that's where we're at we're doing s blinds reading a very fun halloween book to kind of supplement for all the really heavy learning they're going to be doing during science we're working on opinion writing oh yesterday we did Oh, see, it was so much fun. Yesterday, I kind of launched the writing a review about a book, because I think that's technically the standard for opinion is writing a review about a book. So we read I Want My Hat Back, and it is the funniest, silliest story, and it's a big hit. Some of them had even read it in kindergarten, but they loved it. So we, as a group, rated it four or five stars. It was unanimous, four or five stars. I think the ones that were in kindergarten were like, I'm going to give it four stars now. But we wrote about our book, and we practiced using positive words to kind of juice up our writing. And this was just something that we did together. And I didn't sound out every single word. I just wrote it. There's times when it's appropriate to slow down and do a shared writing. And there's times where you just need to like focus on the skill they're trying to do. So yesterday we were just focusing on the skill. So here's my, I want my hat back and I had them help me. Can you see? I had them help me come up with what to say, but I just spelled it all out. That's that. These are some of the positive words. This comes from the Moffat Girls. And the last thing we did was we took a little practice math assessment. This is from Envisions. Honestly, this is really hard and it's not very straightforward and every problem is like a little different. And I, to be honest, do not like it at all. But your girl has never used Envisions before, so I'm trying to give it my best shot and I am not the biggest fan. Also, I wanna say thank you really quickly to Beth, I see your comments all the time. I really appreciate your support and I just got your package today. Um, it has some watercolor, what, this battery is dying. It has some watercolor paintbrushes and this amazing book that I'm gonna use for non-realistic fiction when we get there. Things like this mean the world to me, she said. Enjoy your gift, just a little something from a teacher who's encouraged by your videos. I'm Beth C on YouTube and I teach pre-K. I binged your videos this summer and found a renewed energy after 30 years. That is so special to me. And, good, do you remember? And, which vowel? Good, that's in, good. Can you make it say and? And. Good, ready? No, and, just two letters, and. Good, make sure your A goes the right way. And, good, ready? Now I want you to make the word man. Tap your boxes. Mm -hmm. Make man. Make the word cat. Wait, hold on. Friend, you need to be careful. Tap the sound boxes for the word cat. Tap it. Cat. Okay, pull down your letters. Cat. Tap it. Cat. I want to hear you doing it. Uh, you didn't get these. Um, okay, put all these up here. I just gave it to me so you can see what you have. All right, double check your words. Slide underneath it. Cat. 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 Sat. Mm -hmm. Check that it says sat. Check it. Don't play with your letters up top. Sat. Check it. Sat. Okay, tap the sounds for the word sit. Tap it. Good. Switch it. Nice job. Check it. Check it. Sit. Which one changes? Uh huh. So put it up. What needs to be here for sit? Okay. I want you to tap the sounds. For sat. 
No, I need you to do it. Ready? Give me your finger. Ah. Which one changes? Mm -hmm. okay. It changes to an ah. Ah. We already did this one. I know. Okay, now I want you to tap the sounds for the word sap. Ah. Good, use your finger. Good. Sap. Nice job. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Beautiful. Sap. You didn't get any of your letters, my friend. Okay, now I want you to check it. Sap. Sap. Good. Change one letter. Make it say nap. Okay, ready? I'm going to give you five seconds to draw me the most beautiful bird. You have five seconds. Ready? Go. Five. Four. Are we drawing a cat? No. I love your beautiful bird. Say bye bye, birdie. Bye bye. Wipe it clean? Yeah, baby. Okay, are you ready to write words? Yeah. Blends, which means all of these. Thank you for closing your markers. All of these letters got put into the blender and mixed all up, and when they got spit out, their sounds were smushed together. Wait, do you hear the blend? Yes. How do I spell it? S T. That's the second part. Oh. R. Who remembers how we spell it? Okay. A R. A R because A is letting R borrow his superhero cape, letting him say his name. R. Good. St R. Star. Good. What's the next picture? Scar. A scar. Freddie, get ready. Oh, it's a blend. What two letters? S K. Oh, it's S T. S C. S C. R. A R. A R. Good. R. What's the last sound? R. F. Watch me. R. F. It's playing what? Sport. A sport. Do you hear the blend? Yes. How do we spell S? S P. Good. Or watch my mouth. Or good. Who remembers? Well, o R says or because they're not sure if they should ride a bike. Or bake a cake. Or. Play on the swings, good. Sorry. Or what's the last sound? Sport. Sport. Start from the top. Check your words. Star. Scar. I have a question. Could I make this word stirring? Yeah. I would have to double that and add. I. This word, spotted. Yeah. What would I have to do? And add. E D. What do you think? Spotted. E D. E D. You're right. I can make it the word spotted. Today in our poem, we are going to be finding something that we haven't looked for before. It's called a contraction. Say contraction. Contraction. Okay. So. Good. You don't need anything out of your out of your pouches. I shouldn't hear zippers. Put it all in your lap or on the floor, and I need your eyes because we're learning something new. A contraction. Contraction. We've actually seen our contractions, but we haven't learned about them yet. A contraction is when you put two words together, but we kick out some of those letters, and instead we put an apostrophe. You remember what a comma looks like, right? Yeah. Draw one in the air. Down the floor. Comma. An apostrophe looks the same, but it's up in the sky. Say apostrophe. Apostrophe. It's kind of a really fun word. I'm going to draw it on my whiteboard right here. Yeah, two apostrophes. Uh, 
right next to it. This is a comma. It goes on the floor. And an apostrophe actually goes up in the air. And that apostrophe helps us put two words together. Say, do not. do not. How can I put those words together? Do you know what else I could say instead of do not? Do not. What do else? Not. Do not do that. Or I could say, do not. Don't. don't. Good. Don't do that. What's up here? Do not. I can put that those two words together. And instead, I could say, don't. Which letter did I take away? T. Let's check. Do I have my D? Yes. Do I have this O? Yes. N? Yes. O? No. No, I took it away. And instead I put in apostrophe. Don't means do not. Good. Are you ready to see another one? I will go outside. Say it. I will. Will go outside. Or I could say, will. Will. I'll. Good. I could say, I. I'll go outside. Which letters did we take away here? A. W. And I. W. I. And I. And instead we have an apostrophe. Good. We're going to do one more. I cannot do it. Or I could say, I can't do it. An N? And an O, oh, you're right. We have can, not, can't. I can't do it. So today, we are going to be looking for contractions and rhyming words. The first one is contraction. Say contraction. Two words. Two words. I'm sorry. Two words. Two words. Put together. Put together. And we kick some letters out. It's because a lot of times when we're talking, we want to talk faster. So we use contractions instead of saying every individual word. It's because sometimes we're lazy when we talk. So our writing looks like that too. Are you ready to practice finding some contractions? Yes. Okay, my turn. Okay, now one way to know if we've, if we've spotted a contraction is by an apostrophe floating in the sky. So as we read our poem... I want to see if we can find a contraction. Read it with me. Five furry squirrels. Good. Read slow. Five furry squirrels sitting in a tree. Any contractions? No. The first one asked, what do I see? I see like two things floating in the air. You're right. These are actually called quotation marks. It's telling us what they said. The first one, uh, sorry, my throat, guys. The fourth one said, I'll race you there. What's the contraction? I'll. I'll, watch. Now, we've already underlined this because it's a capital letter. So when you go to underline, just do a nice straight line underneath like that. I'll. Which two words made our contraction? I will. I will. I want to read it again and see if that makes sense. Ready? Listen. The fourth one said, I will race you there. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, that makes sense. Great job. Ready? The fifth one agreed. All right. That's fair. Is there a contraction? Yes. No. That. Yes. That. That's good. What do you think? Which two words push together to make that? Um, yeah, that's one word. What's this word? That. And what do you think this word was? That's fair. That's fair. That is fair. That is fair. That's good. It took away the I. We kicked it out. Does everyone have their sticky note for TH? Do you remember what sound that makes? It's one of our secrets. What is it doing? Spitting. Yeah, look at look at me. Look at me. Ready? They stick out their tongues like this. Can you try? Good. It makes that sound. We're going to make the word and. Watch my mouth. And. 
Good. Pull down the first letter. What vowel? A. A. Good. Pull down to the middle. And. And. M. A. M. A. It's one of our secrets. Watch me. M. A. Nope, watch me. What two letters? Look, you guys are getting it, but you're waiting for me to help you. I need you to try to tap the sounds by yourself, okay? Tap the sounds for the word had. Tap it, ready? Had. Good. Which one changes? D. No, D says the same. M. Add. Tap it. M. M. What does it change to? An H. An H. Good job. Good job. Which one changes? Good job. Good. Where am I? You're the last seat. Are you ready to practice with some rhyme magic? Yes. Okay. Who sees the rhyme? What do you think? A D. A D. Ready? Add. 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 Oh, good. Who sees the rhyme? Add. Ready? Add. Bag. 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 Good. Who sees the rhyme? It. It's ready. It. Sit. Spitting. There's a lens. Ask a friend for help. It's a plan. Plan. Planning. Ask. Shat. Shatter. I'm going to give you a couple of them to try. What I want you to do is I want you to put hands on both sides so you just see the rhyme, then read the beginning, and then read it all together, okay? So just like Miss Call. Hold on. Wait for me to start, okay? Everybody at this table knows how to do it. I'm glad you know how to do it because you didn't know how to do it a few weeks ago. Set, set, settle. Go ahead, you can read. Add, lab, lab. When, when, um, mom, mommy. N, when, when, uh. Ed, skid, skiddle. Nope, skidded. Skidded. Skid. Skidded. Good. Okay, you guys keep going. Um, app, apple. Good, keep going. Up, up, bubble. That's okay, just make, it, make a new stock right there. M. Okay. M. Lamb. Hem. Wait, M. Hem. Hemming. Ep. Rep. Drip. Dripping. Ib. Ib. Rib. Ribble. Un. Run. Running. Good, and you can just put this card up top because you're done with it. Okay, keep going. Ep. No, Ep. Rip. Um. Drum. Drummer. What do you think? Is it fun? Yeah. Fun. Good. It's going to get a little bit harder, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're watching some. No, now we're going to read a story. Let me see. Here's a story that we're going to be doing. First, we're going to practice by reading these words in the boxes together. We're going to go across. Actually, we're going to go down and then to the top. Down and to the top. And then... We're gonna read the story that's on this side. You're gonna see a lot of words in here with multiple syllables. I want you to practice everything we did last week with our syllables about sounding them out. I want you to work really, really hard at that. You're also going to see some blends. So whisper read. If I'm close to you, turn your voice up so I can hear you. Ready? Whisper read. Bobbled and Grimwood skip, stay skip in the green grass. They like to swim in the swamp. The swim and swim in the back. The in the bulk. Mm -hmm. A puff of 
The spell is cast. I do it again. The goblin slip with logs in the bog. The green prince. The what? Green prince. What's that word? Good. Find the rhyme in this word. M. M. Try it now. M. Gremlin. Gremlins. Good. The gremlins. Good. Start at the top. The goblins and gremlins. Good. Find the rhyme in this word. M. M. What is this word? Gremlins. Gremlins. Good. The goblins and gremlins skip, they spin in the dim grass. They like to swim in the swamp. Slip with slug in the bog. The gremlins skip up the hill. They set up their pots for, for a spell. What do they do for fun? What is our story about? What they do for fun? Make like a pot of, pot of soup or something. It wasn't soup, what was it? They were trying to make a what? Potion. A potion, yeah. They were trying to make a spell, right? And they played they were, in the bog. And they played in the bog and swim in the... Swamp. In the swamp, okay. What plan do the goblins and the gremlins have? Make a festival. Like, begin the festival. Mm -hmm. Hob. You're right, that's right. Keep going. Yep. Roll around. Yep. Cup. Tall and down. Tall and down. They mix a webs and frogs, also a... I'm writing bug. Okay, that's right. They mix cobwebs and frogs, also mix bugs. Okay, make sure you go back and check after every word. Good job. They mix cobwebs and frogs and... Bugs, they swear. Good. So whatever book I play, you need to get your opinion. Is it a one-star book? You don't really like it. Or is it a five-star book? You really love it. You're going to be telling me why I should read the book or why I shouldn't read the book. Let me read my review to you one more time from yesterday. Five stars. I really love this book. That was my opening. I really love this book. Listen for my three reasons. It was terrific and funny. If you read it, you'll laugh. There's a wonderful surprise. You should read this book. That's my closing. My turn? Yes. My turn. Yes. Okay, if you thought this book was one or two stars, you didn't really like it, stand up. It's okay, you don't have to like it. Okay. And if you thought it was one or two stars, you didn't really love it, I want you to go sit at the word work table and talk about why you did not like it. If you think this star was four or five stars really, really good, stand up and sit back down. You guys, hold on. You guys are going to stand the carpet. If you thought this book was somewhere in the middle, three stars, stand up right there and discuss. I want you to discuss with your group why you think it deserves that many stars. Give it. If I give it five stars, should I say, I did not like this book? No. No, if I give it five stars, I can say, I like this book, or I really liked this book, or I enjoyed this wonderful book, or this is the best book ever. This book is my favorite book. Something positive that tells me about my rating. It is the end of the day. Holy 
Molly. Gardening club is happening right now, which are trying to get the gardens set up. Here's the little clip, what they look like. I mean, our principal literally laid all those bricks. We've been out there filling those little beds with dirt and planting and things are dying. And it's hot. We're trying to get the water working and it's just a lot of physical labor. So today's a whole, I feel like I'm drained because I had to like constantly get on my kids about their, even just their voice level, their volume. And a lot of the things like they were doing a good job with their work, but it was so insanely loud, which wouldn't matter if they were all working hard and being loud. It wouldn't matter except for the fact that because they were loud, I could not hear the group at my table. I did get some small group footage for you guys. One of my lower groups, we were working on switch it and um, introducing the TH sound, which they we have done as a class, but like they are still, they're not getting it. Um, but we're gonna do that same exact activity again tomorrow. It'll be a little bit easier the second time around for them with that TH sound. Plus a lot of them, especially with the lower groups, like their attention is so poor. Like it, that is one of the struggles you have with those groups, which is why it's hard to have a full group at your table of students who really can't read in first grade because they their attention like they can't even hold their attention on something so that's a struggle that you have and then one of my other groups we did it we did switch it they did great and when with one of my higher groups we did some rhyme magic um we read a decodable um comprehension and a writing and they did okay with that too a lot of them are actual writing we did a book review for the book pig the monster and I'm honestly really impressed. I gave them like a little, I'll put on screen the slide that I had up there. Um, and they needed to make sure they had an opening, three reasons and a closing. I'm a little bit like giving with the three reasons. I really want an opening, opinion and closing. Like if they don't get it three, I'm, I'm still counting that as, as doing a good job. Um, so I had about six kids at my table that I kind of helped more one-on-one. -on -one. But the rest of them, like they did a pretty, a pretty good job. Like this person rated it three stars and said that they, they kind of like the book. Should read this book because it is funny and because he he steals the candy and I really like it. You should not read this book because I don't like it. He gave it a half a star. <laughs> I love that. It's okay for me because I enjoy it and it's flavorful and funny and comfortable and it is the best and it's terrific. He was using a lot of those uh, positive words we had up there for the review. I really love this book, it is really interesting. If you read it, you will laugh. I did not expect for he to throw up. That's why I like this book. I should not read this book. I hated when he threw up chocolate. I do not like it when he put on the costumes. He really looked like a monster. That book was disgusting. <laughs> But he still gave it three stars. He still gave it three stars. That is so funny. So they actually, and I'm I'm honestly surprised at how much some of these guys wrote. So they're really rising to the occasion. Anyway, so they wrote their reviews and then I had them read it to the class if they wanted to and I recorded it so I could put it on their class dojo. I'm gonna take a picture and upload that to class dojo probably in the morning. And then for math, we did a math test. We took a practice test on Friday and we took a practice assessment yesterday and then I gave the actual topic one performance task today it did not go well at all the questions are so confusing only three of my kids got five out of five questions which one of the questions on there is like answer it and then the next question is explain it so I mean if they don't get the answer right they missed the last one anyway so it's really four question tests but anyways um Almost every single one of my kids got two, one or two rights, and there were a couple that got three rights. So I'm giving a totally more straightforward assessment tomorrow with the same math concept that we're doing, and I'm going to grade that and see how they do on that, because I honestly think that the wording and everything that Envisions tries to do is just so, it's just so confusing. Um, and I'm going to go home, and I'm going to leave everything here again, because I am so tired, and there's no way I can go home and edit or do anything. <laughs>
It's raining, which is very exciting. I'm actually in such a wonderful mood. This morning, I feel like driving to work in the rain with the lightning kind of feels like home. I don't know, I just, I just love the rain. So, what I need to do today is print a different math test for us to take. Um, I am gonna plan for next week, probably today after school. I think today is the day that I do a plan, an official plan with me video. <laughs> because I feel like I have a little bit of time today. Wait, that is so awesome. Ah, oh, they're so cute. So thank you, Beth. I'm sure the kids are going to be so stinking excited to have these new book buddies in our classroom. I love. Okay, I'm on my planning. I wanted to show you something that I actually thought was so sweet. One of my little girls gave me a little worry stone that she made me, and I thought that was just so absolutely precious. So precious. One of my kids came in today and he was like, are we gonna find out who won what makes day and night? And I was like, what do you mean who won? And I realized he was saying who was right. And I was like, oh yes, <laughs> we'll talk about it more today. Okay, I wanna show you what I'm doing for our math test instead of the one that I gave them yesterday that I feel really bad about giving them because it was hard. It was hard. Then visions, I really tried because I was like, you know what? I can't just write it off. I'm going to try. You never know. No, I don't like it. And I feel like I give it a really fair shot. <laughs> so instead, um, we are going to be doing mixed addition and subtraction. And I'm still bringing in that reasoning and word problem component, but I'm using um, two packs from Miss Giraffe. She has math units. And the first pack is addition to 10, and the second pack is subtraction to 10. So on one side, um, a whole group with most of my kids, they'll have this. So I'll read this to them. There are three boys and six girls. How many kids are in class? And they just need to write the equation and solve. Um, and then the same thing for subtraction. So on the back, it'll be all subtraction. Our class has nine boys, two boys move, how many boys are left? So really just like writing that equation. I'm not doing anything with the missing number because as much as I taught it and we did comparison, it's a lot for very, very beginning of the year first grade. And I don't, I don't think that's something that should have been on their very first test. So plain and simple. That's my choice. Um, and then for my other kids who need more support, they're still going to be doing addition and subtraction, but it'll have the pictures there for them, and I'll read it to them like a story. There are four ladybugs and two butterflies. How many bugs are there? And then they can just write it. I turn. Yes! When it's my turn, your voice is? Oh. I need you to? Listen. And learn. Part. If you're learning, you are? Sit on your Bottom. bottoms. Okay, yesterday we found rhyming words and we found our contractions. Remember, our contractions are two words that we put together, but we kick some letters out. There was a contraction in my book. It's he and did. He and did. He? I love that. If you find any contractions, you can share them with your friends too. I love that. You're being wonderful word detectives. Good job. Today, since we're talking about our blends. I'll make a sandwich. Like I will make a sandwich? Yeah. Nice job. Today we are going to find all of the blends. Remember, we're looking for blends. So to do that, I want you to use a black crayon and zip your pouch close. Who can tell me? Why these are blends? Raise your hand. Who can tell me why are they called blends? Blender. Blender. And what happened? Blender. Yeah. Blender. Exactly. She said they got thrown in the blender, the letters got smushed together, and it made a blend. Like in sk, sk, or sm, like or sl, or even with other letters too, like like in the word free. Okay, so we're looking for blends. I want you to. And the, yeah, well, I want you to do that too, but keep this up here. There we go. Okay, I want you to look in the title. There's a blend. Put your finger on it if you see it. I think it is. S Q. S Q. Let's sound it out and see if that's right. Ready? Squ squirrels. Squ. Do you hear how those two letters are blended? Blended together. You're gonna take your black crayon very carefully and add an underline. And why are you sitting on your folder? 
Your poem needs to be open. If you're learning, you are participating. Okay, read with me, first grade. Five furry squirrels sitting in a tree. Tr, good, T-R. Just gonna add an underline right here. I know it's a little bit hard to see. Or you could underline it right here under the... That's what I, that's what I did. Good, that might be better. This one, this blend right here, tr, it's really tricky. Cause it sounds like C-H. Churry, but it's not. Ready? The first... Oh, that's interesting. Did you know? Did you know that blends could also be at the end of a word? They can, S-T. The first one, ask, stated, a ground, with goal, goal, goal. Which one did I, oh my goodness, there was one right here. Does this call expect you guys to be perfect? No. Am I perfect? No. Yes. What? No, I'm not perfect. I'm forgetting. Well, sometimes you are. You? Sometimes you are. You didn't we have our days, right? One yet. Everybody you has those days. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. <laughs> Which one? Oh, right here. A greed. All right, Miss Call is not perfect. It's okay. If you don't get them all, that's okay, because Miss Call is missing some too. <laughs> I tried my best to get all. Do the best you can, and then you can put your poetry folders away, and we will do a brain break because you worked so hard. Good. Make a C, then close the door. Go back and check. He took good care. Say care. Ready? Cook. A, er, ready? A, er, what do I need at the end? E, e because, because that spells car. And if we have mommy E, mommy E tells the A to say it's name. Check it, he took good care, finger space. Um, it sounds like a U, but it's not, it's in Y. of hearts hook down cross he took good care of his finger spaces between words his he took good care of his fangs fangs it's right up there did they write it the way we're gonna write it? No. No, we need to use lowercase letters, ready? Add an S to the end. He has two mm -hmm. Period. Huh. What? Period, yeah, punctuation at the end. My punctuation's gonna go on the floor. That should all be in your first box. Go back and check your work. The word pop has a rhyme in it. Do you hear the rhyme? Pop. 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 To spell pop, what letter would we add to the front? P. A P. Pop. D. What's our ending? D. Oh, it's e not just a D. D. E. D. D. We're going to write the word pop D together. Watch me. Ready? Huh? Pop. P. What's that word? Pop. Pop. Before we add our ending, we have to double the letter. So P O P P E D. One of his fangs popped out. Say out. I hear a secret. Ow! We can spell it O. U or O? W. Good. For this word, we're going to use O U because it's at the beginning. Out. One of his fangs popped out. Punctuation at the end. What kind should I put? Miss Cole, you forgot at lunch. Oh, at lunch. I'm sorry. You're right. 
Say at. at. Ready? At. T. At. Lunch. Miss calls for getting all sorts of things today. I think I need stronger coffee. You should get it from Starbucks. I should. Say lunch. Lunch. Ready? Roller coasters. Ooh. Uh. Lunch. Oh, uh, mm, lunch. Hey. Miss Cole, we should do this when we hear lunch. What kind of punctuation could I put at the end of this? Exclamation. An exclamation point, right? One of his fangs popped out at lunch. I feel so bad for him. Well. And in the word will, Al is bringing his twin brother. Aww. Aww. When superhero O is in the sky, O-W will actually Pinch say it. O. Like in the word grow or blow. Yeah, so we're going to use this O-W. Because yeah, he's, he's a superhero. Who? Because he's called there's a, oh, yep, a blend and another secret. What's wrong? Look at you guys. You're, I should just pass you on to second grade because you don't have secrets. Okay, bye. It was good knowing you. Yeah. Yeah. Just I love you guys. His mom and dad said he will grow a new. New. Who remembers how to spell new? Ready? Spell it with me. N E W. Like a little mouse there, do you see? Ew! I don't know. He will grow a new one. One. We can say one or a new fang. I'll do fang. One. A punctuation at the end. When you are done, I need to stamp it. You guys, I'm seriously so proud of you. All right, scoot my line down. Pay attention all the way. Hold on, guys. I have a problem. This, uh, everybody's handwriting is way too good. What happened? Well, you're the one that teached us how to I'm just play. kidding. I'm really proud of you. And I was like, why do things are writing that? I was just kidding. It's and so you good. Stuff in there. I you see it in a no, your handwriting is just so good. I know. We got them. And Rosie Revere Engineer. No, I don't have Aaron Slater. I don't think he has one yet. No, Miss Post is playing. Wow! I did that that math test that we had yesterday wasn't fair, so we're going to take a different math test today that's better. Okay, end of the day. Today honestly was a pretty great day. <laughs> I think I think I had a really, really good time teaching today. Yesterday we had a lockdown drill during our AR time, and today we had a fire drill during our AR time. So, <laughs> we were behind all day again today. That's okay. My day back in my head. I'll just talk about the important things. Save us, save us some time here. Um, I did film, I tried to film some groups. It's hard because I'm not sure like what you guys can hear and what you can't hear. <laughs> so, okay. With my group that I told you about that was struggling with the sound of TH, or I guess the sounds of TH, I did it again today and there was so much improvement with them and they were so much better just like focus wise so that was good my second group i did switch it with them they did an amazing job with that um also i should have a link for you guys i don't know how long this special is running because this is september 28th when i'm filming this but it i don't know when it will be before you see this um, but check the link in the description box for the reading simplified academy um, I have been showing you guys switch it on my channel for forever and I'm just now getting like an affiliate link for it so if you want to join I would join you could try switch it in your classroom for free so that's that's kind of what I'm getting at I need a last time we worked together we practiced some nonsense words with our blends right yeah and we're working on blends this week right mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what you guys are gonna do is I'm gonna give each of you guys some cards, and there's only, hold on, I'm gonna, oh, I'm proud of you. There's only one right answer on each of these cards. Read every single word, and then you're gonna put an eraser on the correct card, and you just spread them out in your area, okay? Okay. Read all the words first before you ask me what the picture is, okay? Blends can be at the beginning or they can be no. at the end. Flap. Is that a flap? No. What's this word? Club. Is that a club? No. Blot. A blot. Is that a blot? Yeah. What does slam mean? Slam? It's like you slam a door really hard. Do you think that's what that is? No. No. After you get them all, you're going to turn to a new clean page in your journal, and you're going to number one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to write all the correct words, okay? Flap. Uh, Flap. Nice job. Nice job. Now that you have all five words, put your erasers in here. I want you to pick one of the words and I want you to use it in a sentence with a capital letter, finger spaces, and punctuation, okay? A capital letter always first. There you go. Clapping. And you have the beginning and you have the ending here. The only part we're gonna need is the middle. So ch, e, er, ing, ch, e, er, ing. Miss Paul, I was gonna do. Um, okay, do you hold on? Hold on, wait. E. Uh, yeah, put E right here. Cheese. Good. E is gonna say E. Good. Cheer in. And your punctuation. Yep. The bad dog. Oh, I don't know. I need you to whisper read. Okay? No, 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 no. I don't want to read this. But I need you to pay very, very close attention to the vowel sounds, okay? Pay very close attention. If it doesn't make sense, go back and try to read it again, okay? Because some things probably needs to be fixed if it doesn't quite make sense. Okay. Whisper read. When I come to you, you can turn your voice up. So cute. <laughs> the dog it is good. No, leave. Put your finger in here. The dog goes. Tick. Go. It go. God. God. What's this word? Got his cat. The the dog is the. cat. Is not big. That is mad. Dad is that mad. Dog has his red his his cap. What's that word? Cap. Yeah. He, he is red. He's red. That means he's like red in the face. He's so mad. What's okay. so angry? Good. If you finish, read it again. Yeah. Big cheek. Well, God, the dog is he sits on a uh, on his lap. Nice job. You don't have to read this part. Okay, just go back to your story. Uh, bad the, uh, dog is sits. The bad dog sits on uh, no. its hits. Good. When you're reading, I want you to practice blending the first two letters first. So like this. Ready? His mat. Okay. Practice that with this. 
Beware at the beginning. No, turn the page. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm happy Ready? with this. Dad. 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 Let us do good. Dad. Add. He. He. Got. got math. math. Can you try to blend the first two first? Dad. Add. Dad. Can. can rub. And. and hug. hug. The. Dog. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> Try to read faster than my pen. Ready? Go. Dad is mad at the dog. Nice job. The dog got his cat. The cat is not big. How did Dad feel after he got so mad? The dad mm -hmm. felt mad. Bad. Kind of like but then, was he mad the whole story? No. What happened? Yeah, his face got red. But then, can you show me the part where his feelings changed here? Show me the part where dad's feelings changed. Let's read that page together. Ready? That's page six, right? Okay. Dad is sad. He got mad and red. Dad can rub and hug the dog. Why do you think Dad got sad that he got mad? Cause he was mad, but then he was sad that he was mad. Why? What do you think? Cause. So with my lower group, we did switch it again with that same list we actually did yesterday with TH. Um, one of my kids, he's saying V for the TH sound, so I need to work on that with him. Group three, we read a book. They did a pretty good job. Um, I was really focusing on comprehension with them and just trying to get them to read more like fluently, I guess is what you say. One of my girls, she'll sound out CB, CBC words like this, duh, ah, g, and like she'll very quickly try to say the sounds instead of blending them. So I'm working on that with her. Um, and really, I was looking to see if they were monitoring themselves when they were reading. So if they read something and it didn't make sense, if they would go back and try it again, talk to them about before they started reading the book because I want them to make sure they're paying attention to what they're reading because that's so important. Um, my group four that I always saw today, I started them off with the task cards because um, I wanted to see how they did with it. This group is my kind of like on level group and I can push them a little bit more. So we did some blend task cards. Um, they did okay with that and then I had them write a complete sentence using one of the words that they picked in that. Some of them struggle with that but that's okay. The whole point is to have like a productive struggle when they're here at the small group table. So that's what I did in small groups today. I don't know how much of that I, you saw, <laughs> but that's what we did. It's a little bit different every day. Um, they're doing an awesome job with Rhyme Magic. I actually posted a TikTok and a reel of our Rhyme Magic session today. So if you go to my TikTok or reel and look for a video of me wearing this outfit, <laughs> you can see um, what they did. But since we're working on blends this week, I just introduced the blends to Rhyme Magic. Um, I used two fingers in front for the placeholder. So I said, oh, let's see if I can put two fingers in front. Let's see if you can get the blend. So I said, spell stem, st, stem. S-T-E-M, STEM, great job. They actually did a really, really good job. Um, and we even did blends and some endings in there too. Writing, we wrote more reviews. Today we read the book, Something's Wrong, which is by Joy John, but it's not part of the Bad Seed series. I actually found out there's actually, there's no, actually no stuff in there. I know, my friend Beth got them for us. I've got Ada and I have Rosie. Wait, why didn't you get the boy? I don't, there's not a boy yet. He doesn't have a stuffy yet. He's funny. The boy's not that funny. No, neither is the brother. You are indeed a true and trusted friend. You saved the day and my reputation. I want you to think about how many stars you would give this, and when you know, show me by your heart. 100. All right. 100, we only have five. Um, if you gave this book four or five stars, stand up. Talk in your groups about why you gave it that rating. Why did you really love it or not really like it? So the title of our book today is Something's Wrong. Look, there's actually a contraction in there. Something's wrong because if they kicked out the letter, you know, something is wrong. Terrific. Flavorful. Beautiful. Best.
Uh, it means it's not really stable. So if I built a tower, have you ever played Jenga before? Yeah. You know how when you start pulling out the blocks, the tower starts to wobble? It starts to get flimsy, or like our clothes are kind of flimsy. There's not a lot of structure. Okay, so your job as a reviewer. Excuse me, whose turn is it? It's called. It's called. Your job as a reviewer is to tell me whether or not you liked or did not like this book. You can say it however you'd like to. You can say, this was a wonderful book. Or you can say, I liked this book. Or you can say, I loved this book. Or you can say, this book was so pleasant. Whatever you choose. You need to tell me your opinion. Our names. Make sure you color in your stars. And then you're going to get to writing. If you were at my table yesterday, please come get a paper, get a pencil, and wait for me. Nice finger spaces, my friend. Okay. When he was what? You liked when he was wearing panties. Okay, so tell me that. How do you spell it? What are you trying to write? I. Mm -hmm. You gotta think about what you wanna say. Play the underwear. Okay, so you can say it did not make sense. Go ahead, try. Oh my god. So, do you like the end? The end of the book? Okay, you can tell me about how you like the end. Go ahead. When did you guys become such amazing writers? Yeah, I taught you. And my kids are doing a really, really good job with these reviews. So, I'm giving them plenty of time not only to write the reviews, but to go back and check their own work. I want to read you some of the reviews for today. I love this book because it is funny. I liked this book a lot. Wow, I enjoyed this book. You should this book lots of times. You should read this book lots of times. This book, what, and then that's where he's. You have to read this book. It is the best. You have to, to read this book. It is funny, a little weird and funny at the same time. It is true friendship. It is truly friendship at the end of the book. You have to, to read this book. Truly, it is truly friendship. It was kind of good, kind of bad, but it was relaxing. I rated four stars. <laughs> I love this book because it was funny because I wear underwear. You should read this book. It made me laugh so hard. <laughs> this might be my new favorite thing to do with my class. And I imagine like this would be so fun. I don't know if I yeah, I don't have the energy to do room transformation. Um, but I imagine this would be a really fun room. You know what? See, I say I'm not going to, but this idea just sounds so nice. It would be really awesome to have like a little book transformation and have like different books around the room and they could like go and like write a review. I guess it doesn't have to be a transformation. It could just be fun. I could have like slips of the books and they could like read a book and then write a review on it and I don't know. I just think it would be really fun. They're doing a really, really good job um, and they like writing about books apparently. So I had to share that joy with you. I have not graded our math test that we did today. I did it in two different groups. Um, so I'm going to grade those and then we'll see how they did. Okay, I have graded them and put them in kind of three piles. One pile, they didn't really get it. Second pile. They're so close, they're doing good. And then the last pile is the pile of like, yeah, they got it. So I'll just show you like briefly. Well, I have two sets, one set for my whole group one and one set for my smaller group that I did for, that was a little bit easier. So this big pile is the kids who got it. Yay! And then for my smaller group, big pile is the kids who got it. So we're doing so much better. This is great. I have a lot to do. I have to upload a bunch of videos to Class Dojo portfolios. I did upload, I try to upload things as much as I can for the parents um, and also just for me to have on record so I can discuss it with them if I need to but I took a bunch of videos of the kids reading their reviews and I want to post those on Class Dojo and I also need to plan because today's Wednesday and I have a parent coming in the morning and I'm not planned. Oh, 
Hello, it is a new day. I'm here, <laughs> yet again. <laughs> um, and I'm just going through and printing some things. So that is what my morning will, will be. With our ceilings in the dark, ignoring tornado warnings. It doesn't see it, maybe it doesn't exist. Your boy's gonna be a, what is this? Hot dog. Hot dog. Show me that you're ready, please. Hey, Miss Calls class. Okay, now we're ready to learn. We're working on our blends today. We're specifically working on S blends all week long. Are you ready to spell some words that have S blends? Okay, I want you to wait for me for this first one. Our first word we're gonna practice is the word snap. Say it. Snap. Okay, roller coasters ready. Snap. Hold on, I need your eyes on me. Spell sn. S. Hey guys, where, where are you? Hello. I'm asking you how to spell it. Ready? Sn. S. N. Thank you. Ready? Sn. A. What letter? A. Good. Sna. What letter? P. P. Watch. Go down to the basement. Snap. Oh, we're gonna write the word snip. Say it with me. Snip. Roller coasters ready. Sn. I. How do I spell sn? S. Good. Ready. Sn. I. What letter? Hold on. Sn. I. 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 Sn. I. P. 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 Okay, what's our first word say? Snap. What's our next word say? Snip. Snip. Can you make the word snop a nonsense word? Snop. Mm. Yeah. Like, like, try it. Okay, we're going to make a real word. Say stop. Say stop. Stop. Okay, what blend is at the beginning? How do I spell that? S T. S T. Good. I see. I. Every word has a vowel. Make sure you have your vowel. Spin. N. N. Or just be nonsense. Now, can you make the word spit? Spit. I see her. She's just watching. She's trying to see what you first graders are learning. Ooh. Good. I'd love to hear you stretch it. Make sure you have a blend and a vowel. It. What's our blend? Oh, just paying attention. What's our blend? Ready? Okay. What's next? What's the word? There you go. Spit. T. Oh, okay. Were you able to get anything done? for the game. <laughs> okay, wipe it clean. Hey, okay, I have another challenge for you. You have 10 seconds to draw, Miss Martinez. Ready? 10, 3, 4, check for Miss Martinez. Uh, you forgot my body. <laughs> Caps on. Okay, um, my, I need a girl's line and a boy's line. Okay, so what do I need to make sure is in my picture? A squirrels. What else? A tree. And what's on the ground? Um, nuts. Nuts or acorns. I'm thinking a squirrel is hard to draw. Does it have to be perfect? No. No, I just have to do my best. Best. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with a kind of round shape for their body. And what's what's the fluffiest thing on a squirrel? A tail. This is how I'm going to do it. Ready? Okay, we have squirrels. Sure. A fluffy tail. Acorns. Look, and if you're not sure how to draw an acorn, you can look right here. I'm going to draw a couple acorns at the bottom of the tree. Squirrels. What if I don't know how to spell squirrels? You, you okay. can look up there. It's in our poem. They could say, what do I see? Some nuts on the ground. Those nuts I found. I'll race you there. All right, that's fair. So I can have this squirrel talking down here. I think he'll say, those 
nuts I found. Oh, I need to make sure I have at least five colors. What you need to do first is make sure your picture is very nice and detailed with your pencil. Do we color with pencils? No. No. Do we color with pencils? No. No. Do we scribble and rush? No. No. I need you to take your time. What's his first letter right here? A D. So you need to get your mouth ready for a D. Ready? D. 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 Look at the last letter. D. Dim. Dim. Like when you turn down the lights. Okay, close your book. What is one thing Pat can do? Sit. What else can she do? Sit. Sip. Mm -hmm. Like when you take a drink, a little sip. What else can she do? Yeah, she can nap. Anything else? Um, she can uh, tap. She can tap. Beautiful. What does Pat do at the end of the story? Nap. Nap. Why do you nap. think she took a nap though? Because she was tired. Tired? She did all of that stuff. Are you ready to write about something Pat did? Yeah. Okay, let me see your back. Get how do you do that? It's a magical writing line stamp. Ooh. I'm a writing superstar. Say it with me. Pat can something. Your turn. Pat can. Okay. Capital letter. Always first. Can I please have? We actually get to practice reading a book today. So, before we start, let's practice some of our rhymes that you're going to see in the book. Ready? Start at the vowel. Okay. A. Ab. B. Ab. Don't look at me. Look here. Good. Ab. And. 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 Like in the word. Can. Man, do you see the rhyme? A-N. A-N, like in the word can. Good, what's this word? Can. Can, good. And, and, and. In, in, in. It, 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 in our book today. We're also going to see this word. What's this word? Can. Can. Ask someone at your table. You cannot come up to me. Here's our book that we're going to read today. I want you to leave it on the front cover. Don't open it yet, okay? Don't open it yet. Okay, let's sound it out together. Get your mouth ready. Ready? Pat. 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 Good. Who do you think Pat is? The girl. The girl. Okay, I want you to open up to the first page. Okay. Press down. Hold the book the right way. Pay attention. we got to move fast. Okay, where do we start reading? Oh, it's the first page we heard. Okay, put your finger under the first word. Buddy, the first page, all you have to do is open the book. Okay, the first word, ready? Let's read this together. Pat can sit. Good. Let's read the next page together. Turn the page. Two. Do you see page two at the bottom? Yes. Two. Okay, Three. ready? Where do we start? Your finger. Good, this side. Good, ready? Pat can dip. Dip. Okay, close your books. I want you to whisper read, which means you should be reading. But if I come super close to you, I want you to turn your voice up just a little bit so I can hear you, okay? I want everyone to start on the front. 
All right, whisper, read. Pay attention to that vowel sound. Okay. Cat, can't sit. What's that last sound? Dick. Dick. What's that last sound? Good. Let's add it. Ready? Dip. 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 Mm -hmm. Pat. Can. Look at the word. Ready? Look at the word. Sit. 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 Okay, when you finish, go back to the front, okay? Pat can sit. Pat can tap. Pat can dip. Bim. Good, close. That's a D. Dim. Capital letter always first. Pat. P. What vowel? Yes. Good job. What vowel do you need here? Hold on, please. Sip. Oh, sorry. Are you doing sip or sit? I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's right, too. Ooh, there it is. Okay. There's something you need at the very end. Love you, bye. Good job. You see? Love you, bye. 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 Nice job. Whenever you do your S's, make sure they're in lowercase too, okay? What, what's at the very end? Not nap. You said pat can sip. We need punctuation at the end, okay? Do you remember what that looks like? Punctuation. It's like a period at the end. Do you remember? There you go. Okay, now can you read it for me? When you're reading, I want you to make sure that you're looking at the words. Okay, let's read it together. Pat can look at the word. Sip. 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 Can. Sip. Good. You gotta keep your eyes on your word, okay? Okay, love you, bye. Four little buddies. How many dinosaurs do not get to eat a bunny? Six. Alright, how many hungry dinosaurs are there? Six. There are six hungry dinosaurs. We only have how many bunnies? Four. Four. How many dinosaurs don't get to eat a bunny? Two. You can see it, right? Look. The same. That dinosaur gets a bunny. That, that dinosaur gets a bunny. That dinosaur gets a bunny. That dinosaur gets a bunny. One, two dinosaurs do not eat a bunny. They don't get to eat a bunny. All right, if I wanted to write this as a number sentence, what would I say? Um, six. six. I'd start with six, and then I would what? Take away. Take away. Take away how many? Two. two. I don't know that yet. Six. Four. Four. Six. Take away four equals how many? Two. 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 How many extra scoops does he get to eat? Okay, if I want to write a number sentence, what am I starting with? Nine. I'm starting with my big number, nine, and how? what am I doing next? I'm taking away how many? Five. Okay. How can I figure out my answer? By putting them in. Five. Okay, so we can make five ice cream cones. Was that my answer? Yeah. No. No. How many extra scoops does he get to eat? Four. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four. It kind of makes a four. It kind of does make like a little four. Yeah. Yeah. We should share some. Wait, we should share right. some. Yeah, Do you think we could double up the scoops? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. 
Here's what I need you to do. Girls line, boys line, but markers, erasers, whiteboards. There are nine caterpillars and three leaves. How many more caterpillars are there than leaves? I want you to try to draw a picture. If you want to draw little caterpillars and leaves, you can. Now, when we did our ice cream scoop problem, was it easy to figure that out? No. No, because I didn't line them up. So when you draw it, do you think you should line it up? Yes. There are nine caterpillars and three leaves. I a number sentence to help her. I did five minus six equals three. Okay, explain to me your pictures. So I did nine caterpillars. I did nine caterpillars. Let me double check, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what did you do over here? And I created three leaves. You did three leaves. And can you tell me why these are circles? Because that's how many I took away. That's how many you took away? Right here? Okay, so let's see if we match them up. Ready? Does this caterpillar get a leaf? Yeah. Yes. Does this one get a leaf? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Does this one? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What about this one? No. No, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Does nine plus three equal 12? Yeah. It does. My question is how many more caterpillars are there? So instead of adding, what can we do? We can take away. So nine plus three equals 12, that makes sense. But Ms. Call is asking how many more caterpillars. So we can say nine take away three equals a number and that is the answer we need. Okay, she started with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What do you think these nine circles represent? Caterpillars. Caterpillars. And then one, two, three, what do these represent? Leaves. Leaves. She said nine minus three equals a number. Let's see how many she has left over. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's our answer? Six. Six. Okay, why did you do nine take away three? Because there's three leaves and nine caterpillars. Okay. So how do you know that your answer is five? Caterpillars. Yeah, how many caterpillars left. are left over, right? Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So really it should be what? Six. Six, yeah. This one was really, really tricky. I'm proud of you guys for showing your work with your pictures. Okay. Don't fall. <laughs> How many of those you have to do? Uh, oh, she was the top a little tired. Oh, sorry. Oh. Is that it? No. 25? Okay. 25. Stand alone. Um, and I can tie it to that chain. Grab it. Good morning. I don't think I actually said good morning to you. The kids are at specials, but one, I have to get caught up with all of these AR test slips that my kids do whenever they're doing their AR reading. They put a little test slip on my desk so I know that they're taking quizzes and passing quizzes and I have to log all of their quizzes that they pass and it's like this whole big deal. So I have to log like 700 things and then, um, I need to make copies. I'm not sure if I have parents who are coming today to help me with poetry folders or the bee binders. We have a lot going on at our school and I also offered up my parents to help with some of the things we're doing for our dedication. Yesterday after school I was here till like 7. Um, I have some clips. It was just like a lot of balloons and decorating and all sorts of things like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get busy and get some things done. Once again, I want to find a stamp that just has like with one on one support. I want like all of these stamps separately because I hate having to go through and like stamp and then check the box. Or I need to remember to stamp things before I copy them because this is time consuming. But I love what it tells the parents so they don't assume like they're doing something by themselves or they're doing something together. It's also nice to have like what's marked as a class because I feel like that says a lot about like their own pacing like if we do something as a class and it goes into their dojo portfolio and it's not finished that could be a couple of things it could be that they were not paying attention or I don't know all sorts of things so I feel like it's I feel like it's helpful shared writing for I love my fangs is stamped and uploaded to dojo 
And also, honestly, this makes it easier for me too because whenever I want to go in and put in grades, if I'm on my computer on Class Dojo, it will show up like the groups of things that I upload. It, up, it shows them together. There's like a feed on Class Dojo portfolios. So yes, I'm uploading things to kids' individual portfolios and only their grown-up at home can see what I put. But as the teacher, if I go into Class Dojo on my computer and I click on the portfolios, I will see, like, I uploaded every student's I Love My Things shared writing. And before that, I uploaded a video of every student. Before that, I uploaded a book review for every student. So when I want to go and put in grades, I literally have everything documented here if I can't put in grades right away, which I have not put in a single grade yet. So it's just really nice. More stamping. And now adding the reviews to Class Dojo. Okay, all that is done. I need to file away 700 million papers and do a million other things. Um, I think I have some moms who are like in the building somewhere doing something, so I'm sure they'll stop by at some point. But this is the gift. We're doing like a secret pal exchange at my school. I don't know if it's once a month or like every couple months. I don't know when it is. But so like I got my secret pal gift and dropped it off. Actually, well, I don't want to say what I'm going to say because I don't want if they some I don't want anybody to tell who it is. So my secret pal said, "Hope you're having a plant fantastic year. Love your secret pal." Got me a plant and an almond joy. Okay, it's the end of the day. We just kind of planned a little bit for Rock Your School, um, and it's a big surprise for the kids. My room is a mess. It doesn't look like it, but I promise you it is. And yeah, we didn't get a lot done today. Basically, we finished our poem, performed our poem. We did two directed drawings, because I'm not sure which one I want to use, monsters or pumpkins. Kind of simple, just like a line out, and then some fingers. If you want to give him some different arms, you can do that. I like those arms though. Let's call them. I think it's there so you put the arms right here. Mm -hmm. You could even give them more than one arm. It's up to you. This is, <laughs> this is your monster. Just don't make it too crazy because I got to cut it out. Our monster has to see. So you can choose how many eyes, but I don't want you to make them super tiny because when we trace them, it'll look like a scribble. So make some big eyes. You can do however many you want. You could even put one on top, two on the sides. I like just giving him three eyes in a row. Of course you can draw eyelashes. We did our I Love My Fangs craft. I've got most of my vampires up there. A mom helped me put those together. Oh, we did our word check, which is basically our spelling test. So honestly, I do not really ever take things home. I think this week I am going to take things home just because doing these is it does not take long it's actually super fast and that way I can get it done and out of the way so all I'm gonna do is grade these and upload them to class dojo over the weekend I will take a quick peek oh my gosh almost every kid got them yay for s blends okay that is exciting. I didn't film any small groups today because the only small groups that I pulled were during our AR time. I just had some of my friends who need more support. I pulled them to my table. I had them bring whatever book they were working on and I read with them at my table. And yeah, that was today. Not really a super detailed recap, but it is 354. I'll show you some of their cute little monsters. It's 3.54 and I have to go home and change and get ready for our dedication that is tonight. So hopefully this vlog was helpful. Honestly, I'm not sure if it was or wasn't. I always feel that way at the end of the vlog. So if it is helpful, let me know. Leave a comment down below. What did you enjoy seeing? What do you want to see more of? Make sure you like this video. If it was helpful, subscribe and join the family down below. And I will see you in the next one.